Peace, peace, my loves, and welcome back. I did want to make a video about my last room trip. I told people that I was going to talk about it and really get into it because it's a lot. But let's go ahead and get into it. So I have my notes, but just trying to go over and recap everything. So we did take 2.5 grams. I have been working myself up to taking more, of course. Like you don't want to just, when it comes to plant medicine and shrooms, you really just want to work small first like not too much okay the first things first we missed our flight like to come to mexico we completely missed our flight and i feel like it was so divine we just had a full moon in cancer and if you all know full moons actually help you to release some of your dark shadows pay attention to where in your life you could be failing to seek something right you could be failing to see something and this particular full moon is interesting because it was in opposition to our mercury retrograde that's currently in the sign of capricorn right so missing all this stuff and you know getting to the airport late i feel like it was a hundred percent divine i feel like the creator wanted me to trip under a full moon okay Full moons are going to help you to release things. Full moons are going to help you to address your shadows, bring up that darkness that we can kind of throw back to that subconscious. And we can tend to just try to work through things, right? But spirit was like, baby, no more okay you have shit that you gotta heal from right first things first when you're on a shroom trip you need to clean up your space okay that's energetically physically making sure that you have a nice energy flow within your space okay your space should be sacred when you do your shrooms we had already cleaned up and everything so of course i got my mug war and i got my um palo santo we cleansed the house cleansed our space now specifically with my shrooms i did put it with maca powder because you know as y'all know with plant medicine it's really really good to enhance the effects so maca powder actually intensifies the shroom so i took about mm, i say like two tablespoons of maca powder with my shrooms i did mix it with my juice i mixed it with a grape juice i just drunk the concoction like that we were going through a full moon in the sign of cancer cancer is also a very cardinal sign so this energy that came with then this trip was very quick it was very intense it was very beautiful i laughed i danced i cried i wanted to fight like which is so ironic because i have been telling y'all listen to your dreams like if y'all know one of my last videos was about your dreams and in my dreams i have been fighting like i have been fighting for my life and like i told y'all you know when you're doing certain things in your dreams pay attention to the symbology because i was literally fighting like you know different demons and different zombies within certain dreams that i've recently just had god was really revealing to me that baby you still have a lot of darkness you still have a lot of healing to do you still have a lot of work to do and shrooms was showing me that okay i needed to cry crying is literally it's like a purification okay crying is almost like a baptism if you will it's it's here to you know help you to realize that one we're going through a human experience i know we're spiritual beings first but we're spiritual beings going through a human experience there's going to be things that we experience there's going to be things that we essentially go through right throughout this journey god was like baby you need to cry like cancer full moon reminds us release cry it's okay to treat yourself especially with us going to mexico having the ability to treat yourself is very important okay it's so ironic too that we're going through this mercury retrograde in capricorn because i have five capricorn placements okay it's the sun moon jupiter neptune and mercury so it's like so many ways that i needed to work on things a lot of things came up during my trip as far as me needing to shut the fuck up like it all makes sense like during the whole trip i was asked to like basically shut the fuck up stop talking <laughs> you know like it, i would show many ways where 
I'm just talking, 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 talking. You know, don't get me wrong here. Talking has done many great things for me, but Spirit was definitely relaying the message as far as like me talking too much. I need to have balance, okay? Being that my North Node is in Libra and my South Node is in Aries, it's like there's so many ways where I'm being shown balance. Like you need to have balance. Two, a lot of my childhood things came up. I immediately felt like a little child because once I kind of knew like, damn, that you talking too much, then I went to that little girl because growing up, I literally talked to myself. <laughs> You know, like, granted, I had a sister, you know, I had a family that was around me. My sister was always gone in my A, and my mom and stepfather had to work a lot. So it's like, who was I going to talk to? I used to talk to myself. I really used to just kick it with me. Even when we were going through the trip, like, my boyfriend was like, you just keep thinking about yourself. And I'm like, dang, you know, and I, and I shut the fuck up and I realized like, okay, you know what I'm saying? I really do. I really do think about myself a lot, but of course, like looking at childhood, it makes sense because it was only me. You know, I like I said, I had a sister, but for a majority of my childhood growing up, it was only me. So all I knew was Vani, 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 Vani. So I definitely felt that little girl come back and all I could do was just cry and just release that. You know, once I had that realization, once I had that like, <gasps> wow that's why you know when you have those realizations that's where the work comes in because then you can take the self accountability to actually make a change to actually you know change yourself for the better and that's why shrooms are so important because they're going to highlight ways where you can better yourself especially during a murky retrograde opposite in the freaking full moon in cancer right and that was a wolf moon at that so it's like it was so many beautiful energies that was going on that i essentially needed also something that was coming up for me during my trip was like my chest my chest was feeling heavy and that's where you know that need to release was coming from that's where that need to cry was coming from if you all are familiar with zodiac and health and your body then you all know that cancer actually governs the chest the breast area right so i've been having some chest pains throughout this whole full moon the moon period being in cancer like i've been having this heaviness that i was carrying in my heart center so it's like you know i definitely am going to remember this trip because that was a very beautiful trip i know i'm gonna have many many more trips but to have a beautiful trip like that i just feel like it was so divine especially with us missing our flight especially with how everything kind of played out like we didn't have the dogs we didn't have my baby girl we can just focus completely on what was coming up for us you know what was surfacing like for me when i'm on shrooms i'm literally trying to better myself i'm literally trying to see what comes up paying attention to the feelings that i'm resurfacing what essentially is spirit wanting me to do you know what i'm saying um but i love y'all so much thank you all for watching if you're new here definitely subscribe if you haven't heard of me before you want to check more out check out my main page on ig that grow Vani with two eyes okay then i have v's hidden gems which is my herbal holistic wellness page spirituality i teach courses i do like many things what do i not do you know thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time so if you guys want another video on plant medicine or astrology or anything else that i've mentioned in this video i don't even know what i've talked about it's already super long but i'm gonna go ahead and get off here y'all i love y'all so much make sure you take care of your mind your body your spirit and your soul stay lifted okay and stay out the way see you next time